Hola amigos, it's me, Paul, and I'm here in Bucerías, Nayarit, Mexico. And today we're talking about scams that happen in Mexico. So let's get right into it. The first scam happened to someone at the Chedraui parking lot here in Bucerías. After doing some grocery shopping, the victim of the scam was putting the groceries into her car. This is when an individual approached her and began telling her that she had dropped something in another area of the parking lot. In this case, the scammer said that she had dropped credit cards. So the victim got out of her car and followed the scammer. A second scammer took this moment to enter her car and steal her wallet. arrived to the area where there were a few credit cards on the ground. After realizing the cards were not theirs, the victim of the scam said, no, no, these aren't mine, and returned to her car. After returning to her car, she checked her belongings and came to the unfortunate realization that her wallet was gone. What should you do if someone tries this scam on you? To avoid this scam, you can check to see if you're actually missing anything and decline their request. If you can, take their picture to share with local Facebook groups. I also recommend notifying authorities if someone attempts this scam on you. This next scam involves the cajero or ATM machine. Someone posted this story on the local Facebook group. They said that they attempted to withdraw money out of the ATM machine at the La Comer shopping center and none came out. They discovered that there was a piece of plastic blocking access to the area where the money is dispensed. So basically someone puts that plastic to block access to the money. If the victim walks away after not getting their money, the scammer removes the plastic and takes the cash. Avoid this scam. If your money doesn't appear in the dispenser, Check if there is something blocking access to it. This next scam happens at the gas station and is very common throughout Mexico. The target has just had their gas pumped. They hand 500 pesos to the attendant to pay for their gas. But then the attendant shows them that they had only handed them 50 pesos, not 500. And the victim is left confused and second guesses themselves. The truth is, they did give 500 pesos. The scammer gasoline attendant swapped the 500 peso bill for a 50 peso bill. Avoid this scam by paying with a credit card if you can. But if you must pay with cash, count the money to the attendant as you hand it to them. So there is no opportunity for confusion. Another scam that happens at the gas station is when the attendant doesn't clear the purchase from the previous customer's purchase. So then you end up paying for gas that you didn't actually receive, and the scammer pockets the extra cash. Because of this scam, most attendants will actually announce ceros, or zeros, before they pump your gas, because they are letting you know they're not a scammer, and they've started your pump at zero. Even then, it's wise to observe and check the numbers for yourself to make sure it really did start at zero. So this next scam is very basic and it happens all over the world. And unfortunately, that includes Bucerias. Imagine you're walking down the street when all of a sudden, a scammer throws liquid on you. When this happens, the victim is surprised and the scammer very conveniently has something ready to help clean your soiled clothing. While they help clean you, they are reaching into your pocket or into your purse and they take your wallet. Don't fall for this. Don't let someone towel you off. They are nothing more than a common thief. If you can, take their picture and post it to your local Facebook group and also share it with authorities. So this next scam might be the worst one of them all. It can cost you thousands of dollars and ruin your vacation the rental scam. Imagine renting a beautiful vacation home here in Mexico, only to arrive and realize that the place you rented doesn't actually exist. 
Unfortunately, this happens far too often. Someone sets up a fake rental online. The victim deposits their money to the scammer to book this fake rental. The money is gone and their vacation just became a lot more expensive because they'll have to find a new place to stay once they arrive and realize they've been scammed. That's a very stressful and disappointing situation. So how do you avoid this rental scam? If the price is too good to be true, it probably is. Investigate what similar rentals are going for in the area you're renting. If you're renting on sites like Airbnb, check the rental history to see how many reviews they have and what the reviews say. Rent with a reputable company, such as Beach Life Properties. If in doubt, you can request a video call to see the home. Or even if you need to pay someone to make a visit, it's well worth it. Watch out for owners who get too pushy about making your deposit. Do your due diligence and investigate the rental as much as possible. I'll share a link for more information on this subject in the description of this video. And the final scam that we're going to talk about today, the bandito, I mean, transito scam. Unfortunately, there has been an uptick in reported scams from local police and transitos, which are like the highway patrol here in Mexico. The highway patrol officer will tell you that you ran a red light or you were speeding. Then they will ask for a bribe, sometimes a ridiculous amount. This recently happened to me as I went through a green traffic light entering the La Comer and Mega shopping area. The officer pulled me over and told me that I went through when it was red. I politely and calmly disagreed. After some discussion, he realized I was local and that I had a Nayari driver's license, and he asked for a bribe, which was a Coca, or a Coca-Cola for his boss. I looked at him and politely said that this was not correct and that he could give me the ticket. He was surprised that I didn't want to give him any money for the Coke. But I suspect that because my daughter was sitting in the passenger seat, he decided not to insist. I can't really be entirely sure. He shook my hand and let me be on my way, without a ticket or a bribe. For whatever reason, this worked for me on this day. So from this experience, I would say, be calm, politely disagree, when asked for the bribe money, decline and request the ticket. I have had mostly friendly and normal interactions with many police officers. I've never been targeted until recently, and I know that many others have noticed that this is becoming a real problem. It is shameful and embarrassing that the police steal money from the citizens and visitors. All right, thank you very much for watching today's video. I encourage all of you to share your scam stories that happened here in Mexico in the comment section of this video. Sharing these stories helps inform others so we can all avoid these scams. So please comment below with your stories and share any additional tips that could be helpful. Thank you for watching today's video. Please hit the like button and share this video with a friend who travels to Mexico. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And I actually have another scam video. It's a story about the time I got scammed at the Mexican border. It's a little embarrassing, but you can watch that video right here. De mi familia la tuya, Dios te bendiga. Tutu, did you enjoy acting in this video? I thought I was pretty good. <laughs>